Mm. Have you heard of bacteria grass? Or have you seen a bacteria seed before? Do you know how important it is for livestock farming? Or are you generally interested in farming? Then you are welcome to this video as I show you how brachyria seeds are and how to nest them. Hello everyone, welcome to Iliasu Farms. I hope you are all doing well today. Yeah, so we are going to nest brachyria grass. I am interested in livestock farming, especially starting with goat farming. So we, I, we need to plan for their feed before even starting the farm. That is why I have, I have decided to plant this brachyria grass in this rainy season. And about the brachyria grass, it's a perennial grass and it's originally from Uganda and some of the main strengths or advantages if you compare it to the other grass is that it has up to 18% protein and it produces more meat and milk of better quality it also has excellent palatability and digestibility it is resistant to disease and insects. It has very good tolerance to drought and fire. Before you make the seed bed or before you nest the seed, we need to prepare the soil. And it is very important for germination and establishment of crops. And our objective for the preparation of the soil is to crumble the soil and make the soil level up and also to free the soil from weeds. So after we are done with the preparation of the soil, we create shallow furrows of one to two centimeter deep spaced at distance between the index finger and the thumb. And then we drill the seeds along the furrows and cover it with the soil. And we have to make sure that there is a good contact, good contact between the soil and the seed. And after we plant or we nest the seed, we cover the soil with dry grasses. Yes. So as you can see over here, we have many beds over here that we prepared. Yes, and you could see that we've created some holes or some pathways around it because we experienced the last time that when it rained last week, we here was flooded with water. So that is why we decided to create these pathways. When it rains, the, the water will pass and then move here and it will enter the gutter. Yes, that is our main reason why we created the pathways around the base. Yes. So, we are going to show you how we nest the seed. Mr. Mr. Mutada, oh. please can you come? Kindly show us the, the brachia seed, how it is. This is 100, gram, 100 grams of brachia seed that we bought from Semenshia Farms. Yes. So, that is the package as you can see and then the sea is very small yes. normally one kilogram one kilogram of brachyria seeds can cover up to an acre an acre of land but because we are starting for the meantime so we bought 400 grams to make it on a small portion of land yes just to try and see how good it will be Sorry for the noise uh, and also the uh, the wind blowing. Okay, Mr. Mutada, thank you very much. You're welcome. So now we are going to plant nest the brachyria seed. Okay, 
and after we finish nursing it takes six to eight weeks for us to transplant that is about one and a half to two months to transplant the the nest uh, seed to a main plot of land all right so thank you very much now we are going to show how to nest the seeds all right Yeah, so that is the nursing we are doing. Uh, you know, we created the furrows, the shallow furrows of about one to two centimeters deep. We create, we leave space in between them. That is about the thumb and the index finger distance. Yes. So after we are done with the drain of the seed that will cover the soil up so we are going to do that for the whole base as you created them over here Alright guys, if you noticed carefully, you could see that the distance between the furrows is as twice as long as the distance between the index finger and the thumb. We intentionally did that because we are now nursing for the first time and also we wanted to see how the germination would be. Are the seeds viable? Will it be successful or not? Are we going to face any challenges or not? These are some of the issues we want to know. So we will monitor and see. If they grow very well, then we nest the other seeds in between the furrows and probably create other seed beds alongside. All right. So we water, we water the seed bed for the seed germination.
Yes. So after we are done, we are going to mulch, mulch the seed bed. So we are going to do this for the whole seed base. Yeah. Uh, we will update you of how the seeds are doing, are they germinating, is everything fine, any problem that we face to be, we will let you know. Okay, so thank you very much for staying with us and we would like you to subscribe for more. Thank you very much, see you next time. Bye bye.